Ideogram 2.0 can create some absolutely flawless mandalas. Now I have five just here, which I created in Ideogram 2.0, and I've gone ahead and edited these, turned them into SVGs, and then put them in here in Canva, so we can actually get a feel for what these look like. And as you can see, they look really good. Now, what I'm going to do in this video is share with you a bunch of free resources that you can use to create your own mandalas. But looking at these, we can see they look absolutely insane. Now, the great thing about this is that I've formatted these into SVGs, which means that these can be infinitely scalable and they're not going to become blurry because they're an SVG. Now, if you want to know how I edit these and format these, I did create a video all about that yesterday, and what I'll do is link that down in the description. But nonetheless, I just wanted to show you what they actually look like as colouring pages. But now, if we come over to Ideogram just here, I have a bunch of mandalas which you can come through and check out, because all of these are on my public profile. Now, what I'll also do is link my public profile down in the description. But what we can do is take a quick look at these. So these mandalas, they all look absolutely flawless. As we can see, we also have these rose ones just here, which turned out extremely well. Now, the original prompts for these came from a little freebie of mine, and that is... 100 ideogram mandala prompts now i'll also link this down in the description as well if you want this all you have to do is come through type in zero just here and you'll be able to get this completely for free now with this you get 20 intricate mandala prompts 20 simple 20 flowers 20 halloween and 20 christmas now i haven't played around with all of the prompts on here with version 2.0 but the simple ones do a fantastic job as we can see just here now if you just want to use these prompts just here it's really easy as well you can come through you can click onto the mandala that you like so let's go ahead and click on this one then all you have to do is simply copy the prompt or just use this prompt by clicking the little plus icon. Then it's going to add it into here. You want to make sure that the model is on version 2.0, which we can see is the latest. Now, a lot of people are saying that 2.0 uses two credits. Well, it does and it doesn't. Now, if we click on this little drop down arrow and see this rendering part, if we click on fast, it's going to change from two credits just here down to one. So if we click on there, we're now only going to use one credit. Then if we click generate, we're going to get a brand new Mandela from this prompt. Now, another thing I highly suggest doing is keeping your magic prompt on because that way Ideogram is going to create a few different prompts from that original prompt and then you can start using them as well. So let's go back to here. Let's scroll up and this is the new mandala which it created and as we can see here we have the magic prompt under the original prompt now if we click on these we can see it hasn't actually given us any different prompts it, the magic prompt is still the same i've noticed that it does do this every now and then with version 2 so we can just keep using this prompt now the great thing about mandalas is that you will never get the same mandala twice meaning you can just find a prompt that you like out of all of these little ones just here. Let's choose one. Let's go with this one. What we can do is click onto this prompt. We can use it. We can click generate. And then we can just do that over and over again. Because it's not going to create the same mandala twice. And you'll keep everything congruent in the same style. So if we go back to here... We can then click on here. We can see what these look like. I've noticed as well that sometimes a couple of them don't quite look right. Like this one. The colour is a little bit faded and it doesn't quite look as good. So you're going to want to choose ones like this. Because as we can see, these two look really good. Now let's go back to here just for a second. Because let's do one of these rose mandalas. 
So we're going to click on here, we're going to add the prompt, we're going to click magic prompt on, we're going to make sure we're using one credit, and let's just put this on public as well. Then let's go back to here and let's see what we get. But as you can see, these prompts do create really nice, simple mandalas. And I've noticed that Ideogram is really, really good at simple mandalas. Now we can notice on these as well that the background isn't quite the same color on all of these. Well, that doesn't matter because going through my editing and formatting process and turning these into SVGs, you completely remove the background and you make everything or the design black. So it doesn't matter if you have weird colors in the background. But nonetheless, these look good as well. Now, let's come over to here for a second. This is the little freebie that you get with my 100 Ideogram Mandala prompts. So there's intricate, simple, flowers, Christmas and Halloween. Now, I haven't really played around with the intricate over with 2.0. What I've mainly been playing around with, if we scroll all the way down to round about here, I've been playing around with these ones. So there's 23 simple mandala prompts that you can use and give a go. So let's go ahead and take one of these. Let's bring it back over to Ideogram. Let's plug that in there. Magic prompt on. Let's click generate and let's see what this generates. But again, if you want to check out the Ideogram 100 Ideogram Mandala prompts, then there will be a link for this down in the description. And as you can see, I have some really great reviews for this as well. Now, let's come back onto here. Let's take a look at these. Let's click on there. This is what I mean when I say a couple of them sometimes look a little bit faded, so we wouldn't want to use them. Those two look faded. This one looks good and this one looks good as well. So come through, try these out. All of these prompts just here, I am probably going to delete the ones that I created in this video, but all of these color and pages just here are going to be on my public profile and you'll find that down in the description. Now, if you found this video helpful at all, then please consider giving me a like as it really helps out the channel. And if you're not too sure what to watch next, click right here and watch this playlist.